Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio here with Mr. Gobbles to show you how to use Zoom for Thanksgiving or really any other holiday or family gathering. I have a lot of other tutorials about teaching online with Zoom which you can find linked in the description below this video. However, they cover a lot of bells and whistles that you won't care about for a basic meeting, and I got some feedback that they went a little too fast for people who weren't experienced with Zoom. So in this video, I'm going to go very slowly and deliberately to show you how to create a Zoom account, start a meeting, and invite other people. Now, I'm going to assume you have not used Zoom before and you're on a computer that does not have Zoom installed. This tutorial is for a computer. It is a little different if you are doing this on your phone or an iPad. If you look in the description below this video, I have links there that show how to use Zoom on a phone or iPad. So to get started, open your web browser and go to zoom.us in the address bar. Once you're there, click the sign up it's free button in the top right. Follow the on-screen instructions to create your account. I've already done that, so I'm going to sign in to my account by clicking the sign in link. Once you've logged in, you'll see a screen like this. You should have signed up for a free basic account. Normally, this type of account has a 40 minute time limit on meetings. However, Zoom has lifted that restriction for Thanksgiving Day 2020. Now, don't worry about any of this other stuff. You should be fine with all the default settings. You just need to go to the upper right where it says host a meeting. Hover your mouse over that and then click with video on. This will start a meeting with your webcam turned on so people can see you. Now, if this is literally your very first time using Zoom, there's one extra step you have to take first. You need to download and install the Zoom desktop client. You will see this screen with a link to download now. Click that. Your web browser should prompt you to save the file. Save the file wherever you would normally save downloads on your computer, and then run it to install Zoom. I'm using Google Chrome as my web browser here, so I can do that just by clicking the file name in the lower left here. That will bring up a little pop-up that tells you that it's installing. And then the meeting will start automatically. Once the Zoom window has popped up, click Join with Computer Audio. That will connect you to the meeting with the microphone on your computer so everyone can hear you. Now, I'm going to run through that one more time just in case you are using a computer where Zoom is already installed. Again, go to zoom.us in your web browser, log into your account, Click host a meeting in the upper right and select with video on. This time, since Zoom is already installed on the computer, you will get a pop-up notification asking you to open Zoom meetings. You can just click that button and the meeting will automatically start. Once you are in the meeting, you will probably want to maximize your Zoom window. This will make it easier to see everyone as large as possible when you invite more people to the meeting in a minute. Do that just like you would with any other window on your computer by clicking the Maximize button in the upper right. Now that you've successfully started the meeting, it's time to invite other people. Do that by moving your mouse to the top left corner of the Zoom window and clicking on this very tiny little green shield icon that says Meeting Information. Now if you hold your mouse still for too long, that icon will disappear. So if you don't see it, don't panic. Just move your mouse, it will appear, then you can click on it. Once you've clicked on it, it will give you a bunch of information about the meeting. The easiest way to invite other people to join the meeting is to copy the invite link and email it to them. There is a button you can click here to copy the link. So click that, and then you can paste that link into an email to whoever you want to join the meeting. Now note that this link has the password embedded in it. So people who click this link will be allowed directly into the meeting without needing to enter a password separately. That means you should not put this link anywhere public, like on social media, pages like Facebook, because then anybody who clicks the link will be able to join your meeting. Now, once someone else has successfully joined the meeting, you should see them on your screen. Depending on how many other households are joining, you may want to switch between two different view options that are available in Zoom. If you are only zooming with one other household and you just want to see them as big as possible on your screen, then you want it to look like this. This is called speaker view. If you are zooming with multiple other families or households and you would like to see everyone equal size, you can go up here to the top right, click on the view button, and then click on gallery view instead of speaker view. This will show everyone in an equal size window. 
I only have two people, myself and Mr. Gobbles, in the meeting here, but as more people join, these windows would continue to get smaller and it would still show everyone an equal size. Now, one common problem for people who are new to Zoom is that they might not realize when they're muted. So if you move your mouse down to the lower left corner of the screen, you will see two buttons, one for mute and one for stop video. And again, if you let your mouse hold still for too long, Zoom hides all the controls, which can be kind of annoying or confusing to new users. So you just have to jostle your mouse and then those buttons will appear again. Now, if you click the mute button and get this red line through the microphone, then nobody else can hear you. So many times somebody will be talking, they won't realize that they are muted and you have to tell them, hey, unmute yourself. This happens all the time in Zoom meetings. It's a little more obvious when your video is off. So if something embarrassing is happening that you don't want the rest of your family to see, you can click the stop video button. That will turn your video off and just show everyone your name until you click the start video button to start it again. There may also be times when you do want to mute yourself on purpose. For example, if you have a very big meeting or lots of small kids running around and a lot of background noise, then it can be difficult for other people to hear each other when they're talking. So you can click the mute button to temporarily mute yourself and then unmute when you want to talk. So that is pretty much it for the absolute basics of setting up and running a Zoom meeting. Again, there are a lot of other features in Zoom, mainly used by business users or people who are teaching online. You probably don't care about those for a basic family gathering, but if you want to learn more, I have dozens of Zoom tutorials linked in a playlist in the description below the video. And while I can't promise that I will be online running tech support on Thanksgiving Day, if you do have a question before that, please feel free to leave a comment below this video and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you.